Hey Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball and today we've got another NBA Shooting Secrets, this time D'Angelo Russell edition. All right, so D'Angelo's got kind of a unique stroke and I got a lot of requests to break it down last week. Um, so I decided I'm gonna jump right in and give it to you. As you're watching this, think about how you can plug the mechanics into your game and see if they'll actually increase your shooting percentage. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so the first thing I noticed about D'Angelo Russell's mechanics is that he doesn't get a whole lot of lift on his shot. Now, for the majority of players, this isn't a big deal. A lot of people put a lot of stock into how much lift you get on your jumper, and really, it doesn't matter for the most part. But where lift does help is it can increase your range a little bit, and it can make it harder for your defender to block your shot. But if you can learn how to properly transfer your lift from your jump into the basketball, you really don't need much of it. Without much lift, D'Angelo can still get the ball to the basket from pretty much half court. Now, after watching a bunch of film on D'Angelo, I really think that he needs just a little bit more lift, especially at the NBA level. I did notice that when he tends to miss three-pointers, they're normally the long NBA threes, and they miss short most of the time. So if he could pop off his toes just a little bit more and generate just a tad bit more up force, he'd probably eliminate those short misses and shoot a higher percentage from three. So experiment with your lift, but just know that it's probably not the first thing that you're going to want to work on with your jumper. Instead, just save it as a fine-tune adjustment. All right, so next let's talk about D'Angelo's stance, and it kind of changes from time to time. Sometimes it's narrow and ends wide, and then sometimes it's wide and lands wide. It actually reminds me a ton of Stephen Curry's. In a perfect catch and shoot situation, I think he likes shooting off of a narrow stance, but he's not afraid to shoot off a wide stance if he needs to off of a pull-up or a step back or something like that. Much like Stephen Curry, to be a truly great scorer, you've got to be versatile with your footwork and be able to shoot out of pretty much any situation. Now, I hear coaches argue all the time, what should be better, a wide stance, a narrow stance, a shoulder width stance, and although all things considered, I think a narrow stance gives you better momentum upward to be a great scorer you got to be able to shoot out of any situation after breaking down a ton of his footage on his wide stance there's something that makes me a little bit nervous if d'angelo plants his feet too wide on his pull-up jumper his knees begin to bend in and almost touch each other this can be extremely dangerous for knee problems um, so if your base is too wide you definitely want to bring it in if your knees are starting to come together so keep an eye on those knees and when in doubt a little bit of a narrow stance will give you better pop in your jumper next let's talk about d'angelo russell's leg drift now the more I study, the more I really think that a leg drift is actually pretty important, especially when you're moving to your dominant hand side off the dribble. But as we can see in a lot of the D'Angelo clips, he also uses a little leg drift on a lot of catch and shoot situations. So watch as he begins to leave the ground, his foot naturally drifts forward slightly, many times causing him to land in a split stance. Now in the past, I've heard coaches get on their players for quote unquote landing off balance when doing a leg drift. But I definitely think a leg drift can help pretty much every player. And who cares how you land as long as you take off on balance and in good rhythm. Now, one thing that I have noticed about a leg drift is it does vary from player to player. Some players get the best results with a big leg drift, some with just a very tiny one. So experiment with what type of leg drift feels best for you and what'll get you the best results. Also, don't forget, this is a channel for the people, by the people. So leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know whose shooting secrets you want to watch next. That's exactly where I pull all the video ideas from. And while you're at it, feel free to clickety-clack that subscribe button. That way you get all our videos as soon as they come out so you can keep getting better. And if you're new to shot mechanics, you're definitely going to want to click this button up here or the link in the description to get a free copy of my top three favorite shooting secrets. These are shooting secrets you can plug directly into your game and they'll probably increase your shooting percentage in the very first 10 minutes that you use them. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and splash on.